It's one of the most high-profile events on the calendar at any legislature in Canada, the installation of a new lieutenant governor. CPAC takes a look at the pageantry, protocol and preparation as the Queen's representative in Ontario is sworn in. A regal sight in downtown Toronto, a mounted detachment of the Governor General's horse guards leading a procession. Lieutenant Governor-designate Elizabeth Dowdswell is escorted to Queen's Park as part of her recent installation as Ontario's 29th Lieutenant Governor. It's amazing and a little bit intimidating uh, because uh, while I have had some experience with protocol from my days with the United Nations, it's really quite different. We spoke with Her Honour about being the focus of all the pomp and circumstance. The former Under Secretary General of the United Nations and CEO of the Council of Canadian Academies was well prepared. I came to rely very heavily on the fact that I have a very capable staff who moment by moment uh, have things planned, know what I should be doing. Uh, but uh, the, the importance of the moment actually does strike you. But before this important ceremony even begins, we get a sense of the preparation involved. So here at the Assembly, you see we've had a lot of action in the building today. We have cleaners getting the chamber ready for the ceremony. We have legislative security making sure that everything is set up and safe and secure to go. To coordinate this event, we work really closely with the Office of the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario and the Office of International Relations and Protocol for the government. And here at the Legislative Assembly, we work on behalf of the Speaker to help coordinate, help facilitate this event with those other offices. Technical producer Tony Giverin notes that even the broadcast and recording team at the Legislative Assembly are pulling out all the stops. This is the day that we push all our, all our technical uh, resources. It's a, it's a day where a number of departments in the building come together to accommodate this event. And for us in broadcast and recording here, uh, we have gone from our usual five, six camera coverage of the house that we do daily to something like we're doing today, which includes 12 cameras. This is a, a, an occasion that is theatre, it's a grand occasion, and that's why we want, want to do everything in, w that we can to make it special. Madam, Anthony Hilton is Chief of Staff for the Office of the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Uh, he worked closely with outgoing Lieutenant Governor David Onley. When I enter the Legislative Assembly, uh, for the last time as Lieutenant Governor, the Vice Regal Salute will be played. The Vice Regal Salute being a handful of bars of God Save the Queen and a handful of bars of Old Canada together forming the Vice Regal Salute. Mr. Onley, one of the province's longest serving lieutenant governors, highlights what will unfold during the installation ceremony. Definitely in, in, is a, a whole process uh, of her being sworn in, uh, reading her installation address, uh, receiving greetings from the province, from the federal government, uh, and um, various other components of uh, singing and uh, a blessing that's uh, being offered and um, it is the biggest ceremonial function that the person will ever experience. Uh, mine certainly was back in 2007. So what advice did he offer Ms. Dowdswell? Oh, Mr. Onley told me I would love the experience. Uh, he certainly did and uh, as you well know he did a superb job. He uh, talked to me about uh, uh, the opportunity to celebrate uh, citizens of this province uh, throughout. Um, he also talked to me about how much there is behind the scenes in terms of fulfilling the constitutional role, the cabinet documents to sign, uh, uh, reading the throne speech, all of those things that are part of our good governance system. The Lieutenant Governor of Ontario becomes the keeper of the Great Seal. This seal is used on all official government documents that are issued in the Queen's name. The Lieutenant Governor of Ontario also becomes the Chancellor of the Order of Ontario, which is the highest order that the citizens, the, the highest honour that a citizen in Ontario can receive from the, from the province. I'm grateful to the Governor General and the Prime Minister for entrusting me with the responsibility of serving as the 29th Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. 
Following events in the legislative chamber, the new lieutenant governor inspects the 100-person Guard of Honor before the 7th Toronto Regiment fires a 15-gun artillery salute. The Honourable Elizabeth Dowdswell becomes the third woman in Ontario's history to assume the role of lieutenant governor. Reporting from Toronto, Ontario, I'm Heather Seaman.